Hi everybody. Now, when you uh, get a Rust private server for PC from Nitrado, and one of the things you'll probably want to do is control access to it. You don't want any Tom, Dick or Harry coming along and ruining your fun for you and your friends. Maybe you do. Maybe you want it a public server that anybody can get onto. But generally, so for example for me, I don't want that. I want just to, for me to access it and the people I want to allow to access it. And um, I did a bit of research and there is a password system but I wasn't completely convinced about the security of the password system. So I did a bit more research and found a way to add a whitelist. Obviously the problem with passwords is that they can be passed around and as long as someone knows the password, they can get in. And there was a little bit of, I wasn't sure whether people could use the console, the F1 console to be able to change the password, which seemed a bit strange for the ones I looked at. But anyway, with the whitelist that I'm gonna go through here is, once it's on, that's it. People have to be on the whitelist to get in, which it's also easy because it means they don't have to type a password and worry about getting it wrong and booting them out. Now, although although this is aimed at people who have got Nitrado PC private servers, when the console edition of Rust comes out and we have console private servers, this will probably be very, very similar. Now, if you look in the, the description below the video, you'll see a link to this article from Nodecraft. And this is a really good article that takes you through step by step how to do everything to install this whitelist. Um, however, some of these things you may well have done already, including setting up your server um, with Oxide Live, and you might also have Rust Admin installed on your PC or laptop so that you can talk directly through to your um, your Rust server using using Archon. If you're listening to me now and going, oh, <laughs> okay, there's a couple of things. I'll put another link in the description down below to my video on how you set up your Rust Nitrado PC server so it's ready for this. So how to set yourself up as admin, how to download and install and set up um, uh, Rust admin, you know, the Archon, um, and how you can make sure you've got um, Oxide running as well. If you've already done some mods, you've, you've, you've probably got all this sort of done anyway. But if if you need the step by step for all that sort of bit, it's all it's all here. It's very very good. It's step by step. It's very 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 good. Um, and uh, you probably set yourself as the owner of the server. If you haven't already, that shows you how to do it. Um, and then we add players to the whitelist. So. You go over to UMod, and again, I'll put a link in the description down below to this whitelist. And all you do is you download the uh, .cs file, like that. And then in your Rust server, shut that down, just go to your file browser, go to Rust, go down to Oxide. Go to plugins, and you'll see I, I've already got it. I've already got whitelist.cs. You'd say upload file, you'd upload your whitelist.cs, which I've already got there. So you'd upload that again. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. Then you would restart your server. Now, at this point, nobody will be able to get onto your server because nobody will be whitelisted. Very important to remember that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to fire up uh, Rust Admin. Uh, if you haven't already, put in all your details. Again, if you check that link um, in the description down below, which, the one I say how to set up um, this, it's all in there. And also the instructions are all in this uh, article on Nodecraft. And once you've set it up, he says, <laughs> You go to console and it might be on chat so so click on console and then this box down here in the bottom left hand corner this is where we're physically communicating with our rust nitrado private server you know it's this is where we're typing stuff in just like you know when you bring up the command line on your pc you know and you type dir and stuff like that or cd slash stuff like that when changing directories this is how we're doing it and then all, all you have to do then do is follow the instructions in the article it's very simple Add players to the whitelist. So, as you can see, it says oxide.grantuser, and then you put the username whitelist allow. So, what you do is you copy this, like this. 
you go into Rust Admin and you type that. And then you get rid of the, that bit, Steam ID, blah, 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 blah. And then you enter your Steam ID. If at this point you're thinking, I don't know my Steam ID, it's basically it's this long list of numbers. I put another link in the description of the video down below that links to a very simple article that shows you how to find your Steam ID. And you type that in and then you press enter. And that would then set up that user as on the whitelist. Um, and then if we go back here, you've then got how to take people off the whitelist, oxide.revoke user, and you put their username in and you do it. And that, my friends, is it. How easy is that? It's brilliant, isn't it? So there we go. Check out those links in the description down below. They kind of pull all the, the individual bits out together. Hopefully that's useful. Hopefully that now means your Rust private server is all yours and all your friends and nobody else is going to come along and potentially spoil your fun. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.